Welcome to Smart Compression for VLU Management. Venous leg ulcers affect nearly 3 million people worldwide, posing significant challenges to patients and healthcare systems. In this segment, we'll explore the basics of VLUs, what they are, and the cost drivers behind their treatment. So Dr. McDonald, can you describe what is a VLU? VLU is a venous leg ulcer. It's a chronic wound that is caused by an abnormality in the venous system, okay. primarily venous hypertension due to a breakdown in the valves or some outlet obstruction. Okay. And it is uh, the most common chronic wound that we see. Interesting. Is there a typical patient profile for people who get VLUs? Well, in, in a sense, there is. We often say you can make the diagnosis from the door when you walk into the mm -hmm. wound clinic. But in general, the uh, venous leg ulcers are primarily do in a genetic fashion, they run in families, in that really? families that have varicose veins, okay. you'll see the varicose veins and venous insufficiency are more likely to get venous ulcers. But in addition, secondary effects, uh, clotting in the leg, deep venous thrombosis, yeah. certainly uh, obesity, mm. certainly uh, uh, leg surgery, total knee surgery, uh, total hip surgery. Uh, these are all things that cause venous hypertension, which then can lead to the venous ulcer. So it sounds like it's more the aging population? The, the aging population in particular is serious. In fact, uh, it's been estimated as high as 8% of people over 80 years of age are prone to have venous ulceration because in, in the age, again, the valves and the veins mm -hmm. are broken down and it's, they're more likely to be not as mobile so that the pressure of the veins or the venous, uh, the pressure of the blood in the veins is higher than it should be in these people and therefore that leads to the venous ulceration. So are uh, VLUs common? Are they are highly prevalent in the population today? They are the, the most common wound you see in a wound clinic. Okay. You see a, 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 as high as 70% of the wounds in some clinic are venous. In the general population, it is estimated that 1% of the population, which would be over 3 million in America, have, have venous ulcer, ulcer disease. In the elderly population, uh, it's greater than 8%, 8% and or, or actually about 5 to 8% because of age and weakness and immobility. So as I was reading um, to prepare for this interview, I, my understanding is that uh, VLUs are very costly to treat. Can you talk a little bit about the cost and what drives those costs? It's, it's absolutely fascinating that I've seen estimates that the cost of treating venous leg ulcers in some countries comes to 1% of the entire medical budget for a country. That's incredible. It's incredible, and it's because it's so common. But when you look at the cost, the estimated cost for medical treatment, uh, it's funny how they come to these, these numbers, but I've seen it as high as $400,000 in the lifetime of a patient, just the medical cost to treat the ulcer. 400,000 in the 400, lifetime 000, of the patient. Right. And, and that there are some other reasons for it. Uh, there are reasons that we can talk about later about the recurrence of the ulcers and the, mm. the very great difficulty in getting them to heal. But when you look at the cost, you also have to look at the loss of productivity of the patient. Okay. That, the, that some of these patients, uh, they, with the severe ulcerations that they have and the swelling that they have, they can't ambulate, they can't work, and very often it takes another member of the family that's gonna to have to stay home and take care of them. So when you look at such a common disease, which is preventable, yeah. it's preventable, a common disease which is preventable and which is healable, it is still costing Americans over a billion dollars a year.